Hi guys, now today I will explain you uh, how to make a project on digit recognition using R and Shine. So let's first run our project so that you can see how I made it. And then I will be explaining you the code that I used to make it. So this is my GUI. See, now I will select a image which is 28 cross 28 pixel and this will be going to recognize this image see I uploaded an image and it shows that the predicted value is 4 also it has also shown us the image 4 now let us upload another image so here I am uploading uh, image of 6 which is 28 cross 28 pixel now soon it is uploaded it has shown the predicted value to us so the predicted value is 6 so this is my GUI now I am going to explain you the code ok see I used here neural network uh, and this is the code for training uh, my uh, training the neural network for my data set so here data set I have downloaded from uh, MNIST website and uh, and use this data set to, up, uh, to train my neural network and then I used and then I used this uh, trained model uh, in using uh, now then I used this trained model in predicting the value Now I will be explaining you uh, how I trained my model and, and then, I, then we will uh, return back to how to predict the value. So first I, uh, uh, I use the library mnet that is called neural network and then I train uh, and then uh, and then uh, what I did uh, I did input data file name uh, input data file name is a variable name having mnist.csv mnist.csv is saved uh, to the same folder where neural net network.r is saved so uh, this uh, uh, read.csv will read the file mnist underscore train.csv and then put it in uh, and then put it in train data set train data set is my uh, a vector containing the training data set it is actually a uh, data set in R now uh, in another line I shuffle uh, all the data rows uh, these lines are used to uh, print for six rows and then a number of records and the names of record after that uh, what I did is I uh, uh, pull out the label name here uh, this is the label name that is my target variable here our target variable is 0 to 9 uh, what can be it so I pull out the uh, label name that is 0 to 9 and then uh, I use a set difference uh, function uh, to, to get out the another features from this from this train data set so inputs uh, so now input contain the uh, features and uh, this target contains the labels after that uh, what i did is uh, these are used to uh, pull out the training data set for six variables and this and number of rows in training data set after that see After that, uh, this X will take the all the pixel values, and Y will contain the only labels. So now X is uh, is X axis have the variables which has values 0 to 255. So I will be using. Uh, so I will be going to reduce this 0 to 255 
to x reduced and then x reduced and we will calculate the covariance of x reduced and then we will uh, apply uh, uh, principal component analysis algorithm on this this pr code will uh, will be uh, will be go, uh, having x CO, x cov variable inside it that is the covariance of x and then p particle uh, principal component analysis will be applied on this after that I am extracting the uh, 45 features from this training data set and, and, has, uh, uh, in, and these are stored in x final variable. Now both our uh, x variable and y variable, x containing the features and y containing the labels are ready for us. Now I am uh, going to extract the test data set from the mnist underscore test.csv file containing in the same folder where the neural network.r is saved. Now we have a test data set containing in the uh, uh, testing data set. And then again we are applying same algorithm here for getting the for, uh, 45 features from this. Now I will be training the model. So here I used is X, uh, X final is our uh, features and Y is our label. So uh, here we have 80,000 neural networks and 113 maximum number of iteration. And we have trained our model and model is stored in this model variable. After that we have predict function which will predict the values of the uh, test data set. So uh, in predict function we have passed the model and the test reduced, the reduced data set. And then it is in uh, predicted variables. After that here we have uh, uh, pulled out the predicted output. Now we, we have trained our model and also we can test it out. So here is here this code is used for testing. Now I'm going to only save this model. So here I have this save dot image function which will save this model. So we have neural network model ready for us. Now I will be going to uh, explain you. Now I'll be going to. So now I, I have explained how to train your neural network and now we will going to uh, using this neural network to get the output of the image. So now we have a 28 cross 28 image. Now we will convert this image into grayscale or black and white and then we will get the pixel values. So 28 cross 28 image has 20, uh, 784 28 and 28 pixels so now we will extract these pixels and get the uh, and do the feature selection on this to make it on to 45 features here we are using 48 45 features now we will pass these 45 features into our model which we have used here which is that is neural network model we have used now this neural network will give the output of the uh, image that is the predicted value of the image so here we have uh, also we have made a GUI that I have shown you earlier. GUI is made in the this shiny app. You can go go to shiny and check it out. And also we also we have to convert this image to grayscale. So we have image a library called EB image. This library is used for to convert an image uh, to grayscale and several another operation. You can check it out also. And Another library is uh, neural network that is we, we have used to train our data set. Now uh, at the first step what we did is we have load our model name that we have made earlier. Now these are the several uh, functions used in shiny. The UI function is used to make a UI and server function is made for the algorithms. 
to implement the algorithm. So we have here made an choose an image uh, toolbar here, which you uh, which is used to extract the image. Uh, first, I will tell you the algorithm, and then we will uh, going to check it out. So the image uh, here image is image uploaded by user is input dollar image, and this input dollar image has certain path. Let us say this is the path. Uh, other things I will be explaining afterwards. Uh, this is the path for the image, and this we have read uh, read it. Uh, we have read it by the uh, read image. So by read image we have uh, passed it into the image. So image has now the pixel values of the uploaded image. Now we have check out the uh, number of frames using the number of frames function. And if the number of frames is one, that is the image is black and white. Uh, then we have simply uh, passed it into the image by multiplying it with with the 255 pixel values. If the number of frames is three, that is image is colored. Then we have uh, get the RGB values and converted this image into the uh, gray scale according to the formula given as this. Now. We have taken the transpose of the pixel values, and then converted into the matrix, and uh, converted into the vector, and then converted this matrix. And afterwards, I have saved in this file three px dot csv, and then we have extracted out this three px dot csv to test file name, and then uh, and then we have read uh, we have read this test file name that is three px dot csv containing the pixel values. And uh, and this is contained in uh, and this pixel values are now contained in new test data set. Now this new test data set uh, is divided with 255 pixel values because our number is 8 bit. Now this is converted into the test reduced. So now all in all we can see that we have test reduced as a variable containing the test data set of the image uploaded. Now again, what we did in uh, neural network training, we have extracted the 45 main feature. Here again, we are doing the same. Uh, I have explained this in the uh, earlier also. Now we have pasted this predicted value as using the paste function. So new predicted value contain the uh, predicted value, and I have pasted out. Okay, thank you, sir.